Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem and Yahweh Shai, by Hashem and Kodesh. Double honors to the Apostle of the Great Millstone. Shalom to your brothers out there pushing his words of city and truth. I'm going to jump straight into the scriptures. Uh, this video is um, relevant to what's going on in today's news um, across America. And that, um, you know, we're coming into serious times, but beautiful times for the elect, Lord willing. So I'm going to jump straight into it. <clears throat> uh, Mark chapter 13, verse 20. And except that the Lord has shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But, but for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. So, you know, if you can notice that the, the days are getting, sh you know, in a sense, the days are getting faster, the, the Lord did that for us. You know, we're getting out of here in, 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 in the Lord's time, but how can I say it? Everything's speeding up for the great day of the return of Yahusha and the host of heaven. So, you know, the days are being shortened. One, for that, that return of Yahusha, but two, you know, things are going to get more intense, you know. Can you imagine time being slowed down and you in a prison cell or whatnot, <clears throat> but the Lord's speeding up the days? Um, verse 21, and then if any man shall say to you, lo, here is Yahushai, or lo, he is there, believe him not. Because those are those false prophets um, that are just, you know, basically Satan, I mean, it's like it, agents for Satan and agents for uh, Esau. Verse 22, for false, for false um, Hamashiach, or false Christ and false prophets shall rise and sh shall show show signs and wonders to seduce if it were possible even the elect but take but take ye heed behold I have foretold you all things and this is Yahusha speaking he, he's uh, the Lord through Yahusha has already given us what's to come what to expect to get your you know gird up your mind get your, your your spirit right your mind right for to see Things that he has already said that he's going to do. Like the missiles. <clears throat> you know. FEMA camps. Bloodshed on the streets. Animals, beasts that you haven't, can't even imagine. You know, Leviathan. The chariots up close and personal. Uh, I mean, we already seen the curses. Now, all we waiting for is the blessings in the kingdom. You know, the Lord is really shortening down the days for our sake. Lord willing, we are the elect. Because, one, we, we're hastening the day of Yahusha. We want to get out of here. We want to be out of, we wanted to be out of here yesterday. This is the worst of the worst captivity that we've been in. All, all the captivities rolled up in one, you know, disgusting dish so um, jump to I'm gonna jump to uh, Isaiah uh, no, Hosea sorry Hosea 4 and 6 my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou has like it, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. <coughs> and this this scripture, you know, this is one of the base, base first scriptures I learned, but it's a deep scripture because my people is talking about the two thirds. You know, because the Lord is only dealing with Israel. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They're out here looting. 
and this, that, and the fourth, because, you know, an unarmed or unarmed black men are dying by the hands of Esau, but that's the only time you get riled up. You don't actually understand what's coming to pass or what's coming to play. The chess game on the board, you know, the game on the board. The Lord's setting up for race riots. The Lord is setting up for uh, for every nation shall go to his own nation. That's what's coming to pass. They don't, you know, our, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge of not knowing who they are. They still think they're African, West Africans, you know, or one eighth this and one third this and two eighths that and uh, 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 two percent this. You are an Israelite through the blood, through through the through the uh the, the your father's side, going back to Numbers one and eighteen. I will also reject thee because basically you know the Lord you rejected the Lord so He's gonna reject you. You're not taking reverence. You're not taking the acknowledgement that the Lord is in control of all things. Point blank. Point blank. Period. You know. And the Lord's gonna forget you. In that day, because you haven't given no type of acknowledgement that he is our power. So when the shit hits the fan, that's when you're going to be calling on God, but you don't know his name. That's one of the most important things and the beginning things that you learn in this truth is learning the name of the, the Lord, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the two most important names. Period. So... And, you know, going to this line right here, um, seeing that, seeing thou has forgotten the law of, of thy power, I will also forget thy children because the Lord is only dealing with Israel and, and Israel always follows the ways of the heathen and turns their back onto the law, statutes and commandments is, and really turning your, your back on the law, statutes and commandments is turning your back on the Lord because that is what's keeping you connected to the Lord and keeping you perfect and separate from the heathens. You know, so. I'm going to jump to <coughs> Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. We're coming up to that time, even though you should be applying the wisdom and knowledge and understanding uh, and the things that you were taught for ever how many years you've been in the truth, a year, two years, five years, eight years, ten years, etc. You should be applying what you learn now. So then, you know, basically just upright, just being spiritual and using your spiritual eye to see the things that are coming to pass and, you know, measuring the time because <clears throat> we're coming into evil times, you know. The, the hour of temptation is, you know, basically the RFID chip coming coming out mandatory. You got to know, you got to have wisdom and knowledge and the fear of the Lord to not take the chip. You got to, you know, you got to, uh, when the shit hits the fan, you still got to have a wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be spiritual and to, you know, follow, still follow the law, statutes, commandments to your best ability because you can't, just because the shit hits the fan, I've all, you know, I always hear this, just because the shit hits the fan doesn't give you green a green light to just, you know, all right, since you haven't eaten in a day, you can go eat some pork rinds or something. No, it doesn't work like that. You know, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And that's the fear of the Lord is our treasure. The fear of the Lord is what's keeping us separate and stable and uh, cool as a cucumber. Because if we have fear of the Lord, we know that the Lord got us. That's our treasure. Know, knowing the name of the Lord is a treasure. Having the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures are treasure. You know, having the uh, the Holy Spirit on us is is our, is part of the treasure. 
And Lord willing, we see the kingdom, you know? So. <clears throat> um, yeah, that was it on that. But, um, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying and is, you know, straight to the point. I mean, hasten the day of the Lord. Apply the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that you have obtained for whatever, how many time, how much time you've been in the truth, and just know <coughs> that um, we are separate. There's still a division amongst Israel. We are the righteous, and there is the wicked of Israel that's following the ways of Esau and following the ways of the heathen. So apply the scriptures to your best ability. Walk in the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh, and, and the, the best um, question to ask yourself when you're in a certain situation um, is what will Yahweh do or what would what did the scripture say? That's what will keep you there and connected to Yahweh, Yahweh, and pray and pray without ceasing. So I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, and that will honestly apostle the great most of them. Shout out to your brothers out there pushing this word and succeeding in truth.